Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you how you can get your hands on my EJPT notes and also how to take effective notes while taking your exam or on the exam day. Before we jump in, as always, if you like this video, support me by subscribing to the channel and also hit that like button uh, to hide the YouTube algorithm. So, as since uh, I published two videos about the EJPT previously, the one that how I passed and the other one about the free try hack me labs for uh, preparing for the EJPT certification, uh, most of you guys requested for my notes. I want to apologize and I'm sorry that I wasn't able to share it uh, soon enough as I'm doing my masters and uh, busy with the classes, projects and exams. So I wasn't able to share it. Uh, now that we are done with the semester and I'm a little bit uh, free, uh, I will reorganize it and re-edit my notes and share it with you guys. I will tell you how you can get access to it, but first let's talk about how to take effective notes uh, on the exam day. So note taking is an important part of uh, the exam because it will help you organize uh, to be clear and also will save you a lot of time while answering the questions. So this is how my uh, this is how I took notes during the exam or on the exam day. As you can see, for example, uh, these are the pages. For example, for the notebook. For example, I had the target uh, one. So you have different targets to test uh, in the exam day. For example, I had this target. Uh, let's assume that the target one the IP address was 10.10.10. .10 .10. And also, I after testing it and uh, do some recon on it and uh, checking it, I found that the operating system is, for example, Linux. And the name is, for example, we, we can say uh, it's a web server, uh, for example. So, this is a web server. So, once doing that, I would, uh, I, I did uh, perform all the steps of. Uh, a pen test, for example, from the information gathering to exploiting, and whatever I find, I would list out here all the exploits or the vulnerabilities that I found. I will list it here. For example, if it was uh, uh, an admin form, it might be SQL injection, maybe XSS, or maybe some brute force. I could do some brute force on it. So I will list the uh, known exploits and vulnerabilities here, and also for the loots, I will have. Uh, if I find any usernames, passwords during my test, I will list it out here. And also, if I do some brute force, for example, uh, I would list the combination of the username and password. For example, if it was admin admin, I would list it out here. That when I answer the questions, I can just come back to my notes and uh, find it easily here. And that's how easy it would be. Uh, so uh, you should do it for all the. Uh, targets, for example, that target one, target two, for example, and even uh, you have to pivot. There's uh, an internal network that you need to access. In the EJPT uh, video, sorry, the for, on the video that I published for the uh, free trihagni rooms for the EJPT, at the end of the video, I mentioned uh, two links that you can visit in order to check the how the real exam looks like because they have a documentation about that that you can check out what you have what you don't have what the network will look like so inside that you will you will see that there is also an internal network that you should access it through pivoting and i'm suggesting you guys to do the same thing for the internal network as well for example if you access to that ne internal network that you should because if you don't uh, you will miss some points and you may not pass uh, so you should do the same thing, for example, the internal target one, the operating system, if you find any known exploits or vulnerabilities, for example, the loots and everything else. So this is how uh, I took my notes during the exam day and I find it very helpful. And I think it's helpful for you guys too, in order to, if you want to practice it. So you may find uh, your way, but this is how I did it and I really... I wanted to share with you guys it might be helpful for you guys so now that we are done with the how to take notes during the exam day i'm just gonna show some my notes here so because i took these notes during the studying i had a limited time to prepare 
and these notes are a little bit messy and it's it's a lot so for example information assessment methodologies hostile network guard thing hostile network penetration testing we have the exploitation post exploitation and also we have the metasploit framework which is, has its own notes it, uh, for every stage as well so what i do is that i will uh, reorganize and re-edit my notes and will share it on github so you can find the link to the github repository in the description below and you can check it out uh, i already put the information gathering and footprinting and scanning i will update it uh, daily maybe, maybe two days or three days i will uh, uh, edit it and just share it with you guys you can check it out daily and you can have access to it uh, without any issues uh, so that's uh, how you can get your hands on to my uh, notes EJPT notes so if you have any questions if you have anything I would be more than happy to hear it please mention in the comments below what do you need what do you have and, and also what do you think of the notes what can be uh, improved or what can be added and give me your thoughts in the comments and thank you so much so that's it for this video i hope it was helpful for you and again if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell to be notified when i upload a new video see you in the next video